There'll be more hunting opportunities for the 2020 pronghorn season. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. My guest this week is Big Game Supervisor Bruce Stillings. Bruce, winter weather always plays a role in the pronghorn population. How was last winter? Yeah, typically uh, last winter could be characterized as pretty, pretty mild, uh, especially the amount of snow that we received. We, we didn't receive a lot of snow and that's always really, really good news for our pronghorn that can struggle a lot more trying to paw through that heavier, crustier snow and they're also forced a lot of times to make large movements and so less snow is always always a good thing for pronghorns. So going into this summer we were expecting high survival rates from this past winter. Okay, you guys just finished your surveys. What'd you find? Yeah, we, we just com completed our surveys and numbers were up about 6% and so that puts us at just over about 10,000 animals. Uh, we're gonna have 1,790 licenses this year, and that's a little bit more than 450 from last year. Uh, we're gonna have three more units open, uh, 8A north of Dickinson, 11A southeast of Richardson, and then we're also gonna have a unit open north of the Missouri River for the first time since 1993. We're going to have 13A open in the northwest part of the state, so that's that's really really encouraging and going to provide some additional hunting opportunities this fall. Okay, Bruce, why don't you tell our viewers how do you guys do your pronghorn surveys? Yeah, so we fly a one-mile strip transect survey, so we're going to be classifying and counting animals one half mile each side of the airplane. We start our surveys just shortly after sunrise uh, to make sure that we're we're counting and observing animals when they're most visible. Uh, we conducted uh, surveys over 15,000 square miles this past summer. Uh, we did this from July 1st through July 14th. We took in just under 210 actual survey hours and we classified just over 1,500 pronghorn groups during this survey effort. And we, we put four airplanes uh, scattered across the state to accomplish this work and so we divide and conquer and and uh, complete the, the survey in a in a two-week period. Okay how do you determine the, the amount of licenses we're going to give out? Yeah so we have population objectives established for each management region so then once the survey is complete we look at how numbers within each survey unit compare and then are included in the management region and then we make license adjustments accordingly to ensure that we're managing within those population objectives. And those population objectives are based on uh, number of pronghorn that could be supported through an average North Dakota winter and are within the, the tolerance of area landowners. Okay, pronghorn numbers are heading in the right direction. What's that take? Yeah, they, they have been trending upward since 2012 when we reached a, a recent low after the winters of 2008 through 2010 and they've been on the increase since 2012 and it's going to take more milder winter weather conditions, uh, favorable habitat conditions that's going to promote better fawn production so we can continue to see this population grow and potentially be able to open the, the last two units that we have remaining in the state uh, uh, northeast of Richardson and then also north of Kildare. We'd, we'd sure like to see those get open in the future. Okay, uh, deadline is when? Deadline to apply is August 5th. So Bruce, it's fairly simple to apply for, for a license if you're interested. Yep, just go to our North Dakota Game and Fish website and fill out your application and you'll be entered for this year's lottery. A lot of great information, thank you. Thank you. Like Bruce just mentioned, the application deadline for the 2020 pronghorn season is Wednesday, August 5th, and it's easy to apply. Just go to the Game and Fish Department's website at gf.nd.gov. For Big Game Supervisor Bruce Dillings and the rest of the staff here at the Game and Fish Department, thanks for joining us for this week's 2020 pronghorn update. We'll see you again next week.